Have you been privy to the unsettling whispers surrounding the uncertain fate of Paul McCartney? With over half a century elapsed since the Beatles first cast their spell upon the world, a tapestry of rumors has woven itself around the band and its members. Among the most enduring is the tale of Paul McCartney's alleged demise in 1966, replaced by a lookalike. Yet, the truth has been revealed in this video his daughter Mary McCartney addresses and lays to rest this tragic rumor. Mary McCartney, a prominent figure in the realms of photography, directing, and activism, hails from a lineage of artistic prowess and social consciousness. Her father was none other than Paul McCartney of the Beatles fame, and her mother was Linda McCartney, an esteemed photographer and passionate advocate for animal rights. Mary McCartney inherited a rich legacy of creativity and advocacy. Stepping into the world of photography during the early 1990s, McCartney initially found her muse close to home. Her debut into the field was marked by capturing intimate portraits of her father and stepmother, Paul and Linda McCartney, for their collaborative book project titled Paul McCartney, Many Years From Now. This venture served as a catalyst for her burgeoning career, setting the stage for her trajectory as a distinguished photographer. McCartney's photographic oeuvre spans across a multitude of genres and subjects, showcasing her versatility and keen eye for detail. Her lens has graced the pages of esteemed publications such as Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, Rolling Stone, and Vanity Fair, where her distinctive style and ability to capture the essence of her subjects have garnered widespread acclaim. Beyond her prowess behind the camera, McCartney ventured into the realm of filmmaking, making a significant mark with her directorial debut in 2016. Her inaugural venture, Ringo's Big Day Out, a short film, not only showcased her directorial finesse, but also hinted at her penchant for storytelling and narrative craftsmanship. Building upon the success of her debut, McCartney further solidified her presence in the cinematic landscape with her subsequent directorial endeavor. In 2017, she directed the documentary If These Walls Could Sing, offering an immersive exploration into the iconic Abbey Road Studios. Delving into the rich history and cultural significance of this legendary recording studio, McCartney adeptly weaved together a tapestry of anecdotes, interviews, and archival footage, providing viewers with a compelling glimpse into the inner workings of a musical institution. Beyond her creative endeavors, McCartney is also renowned for her unwavering commitment to animal rights activism, a cause that resonates deeply with her family heritage. Drawing inspiration from her mother's legacy as an ardent advocate for animal welfare, McCartney actively lends her voice and influence to various campaigns and initiatives aimed at promoting compassion and sustainability. Mary McCartney recently appeared on Good Day New York to address the persistent rumors surrounding her father's supposed demise. With a blend of candor and incredulity, she dismissed the proliferation of these rumors as absurd, highlighting the surreal nature of how such misinformation spreads in the age of social media and sensationalism. In her interview, McCartney acknowledged the paradoxical nature of the situation, recognizing that the widespread concern for her father's well-being is a testament to his enduring fame and the profound impact he has had on countless lives worldwide. She expressed gratitude for the outpouring of care and concern from fans and admirers, emphasizing how heartening it was to know that so many people held her father in such high regard. Dispelling any doubts or misconceptions, McCartney assured viewers that her father was very much alive and well, debunking the rumors with a simple yet powerful statement of fact. She shared personal insights into their relationship, revealing that she frequently communicates with her father via phone calls, further underscoring the vitality and vibrancy of his presence. With warmth and affection, McCartney reflected on the reassuring significance of the public's affection for her father, acknowledging the comfort it brings to both her family and fans alike. Her words served not only to quell any concerns, but also to celebrate the enduring legacy of Paul McCartney, 
whose influence transcends generations and continues to resonate deeply with audiences around the globe. One of the prevailing hypotheses centers around the iconic Abbey Road album cover, a visual masterpiece that has captivated audiences for decades. According to this theory, subtle clues embedded within the artwork purportedly allude to Paul McCartney's supposed demise. The image of McCartney strolling barefoot and out of step with his bandmates is interpreted as symbolic of his departure from the realm of the living. Additionally, the presence of a white Volkswagen Beetle with the license plate 28F is viewed as a cryptic reference to McCartney's age at the time of his alleged death, suggesting that he would have been 28 if he had survived. Furthermore, the arrangement of the Beatles on the cover is interpreted as a macabre representation of a funeral procession, with each member assuming a specific role. George as the gravedigger, Paul as the deceased. Ringo as the faithful mourner, and John as the solemn priest presiding over the proceedings. Another curious explanation for the proliferation of the rumors involves the manipulation of music, specifically the Beatles' iconic song, Strawberry Fields Forever. According to this theory, when the song is played backward, John Lennon's voice is purported to utter the cryptic phrase, I buried Paul, during the closing moments. This alleged subliminal message has been cited as evidence supporting the notion of McCartney's demise, further fueling speculation and intrigue among fans and conspiracy theorists alike. During her conversation with Echo, she delved into the duality of her father's identity, distinguishing between Paul McCartney the Beatle and Paul McCartney the family man. Contrary to the larger-than-life persona often associated with celebrity, Mary emphasized the ordinariness of her father's daily life and the simple pleasures he derives from spending time with his Lovedwanese. Despite being revered by millions as an untouchable idole, Paul McCartney is, at his core, an ordinary man who finds joy and fulfillment in the company of his children and grandchildren. Mary's account paints a picture of a humble and grounded individual who remains remarkably unaffected by his global renown. She underscored her father's modesty and down-to-earth nature, highlighting his unwavering commitment to his family above all else. In the midst of adulation and acclaim, Paul McCartney remains steadfast in his role as a devoted father and grandfather, prioritizing familial bonds above the trappings of fame. One striking aspect of Mary's portrayal is the sense of normalcy that permeates her family dynamic despite her father's extraordinary fame. She recounted instances where the family treated Paul McCartney with the same familiarity and affection as any other member, fostering an environment where he could simply be himself without the weight of his celebrity status. In these moments, Paul McCartney's anecdotes and stories are met with the same playful banter and teasing that typify any family gathering, underscoring the enduring bond that unites them. Furthermore, Mary offered insights into her father's culinary talents, revealing another dimension of his multifaceted persona. Beyond his musical prowess, Paul McCartney's aptitude for cooking speaks to his creative spirit and passion for experimentation. Through his culinary endeavors, he finds yet another avenue for self-expression and connection with those closest to him, further enriching the tapestry of his family life. Mary's description of her father's meticulous approach to making mashed potatoes, complete with the painstaking use of a fork to whisk the mash, adds a charming touch to his culinary endeavors. Despite his fame and acclaim, Paul McCartney's willingness to take on the role of the family cook reflects his relatability and hands-on approach to domestic life. The revelation that Paul McCartney enjoys making lasagna from her mother's first cookbook further underscores his connection to his family's culinary traditions and his appreciation for the simple joys of home cooking. His mastery of the dish, coupled with his renowned mashed potatoes, highlights his culinary prowess and his ability to find joy in the act of creating meals for his loved ones. Mary's assertion that her father is just a regular guy who values spending time with his family is reaffirmed by his actions during the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Instead of embarking on a scheduled European tour, Paul McCartney chose to spend the lockdown period at his farm in East Sussex, where he embarked on a creative journey alongside his daughter and grandchildren. The collaborative effort to record his solo album, McCartney III, in the intimate setting of his farm, underscores the importance of family and creativity in Paul McCartney's life. Far from the spotlight of the stage, he found solace and inspiration in the company of his loved ones, channeling his creative energy into a project that would resonate with fans around the world. Paul McCartney's journey through fatherhood is as multifaceted as his illustrious career in music. With three marriages and five children, his role as a father has been a central pillar in his life, shaping his priorities and leaving an indelible mark on his legacy. McCartney's perspective on fatherhood is deeply reflective of his values and priorities. He has been vocal about the profound significance of being a parent, describing it as the most important job in the world. In a poignant interview with The Telegraph in 2012, McCartney expressed his desire to be remembered primarily as a good father, highlighting the centrality of his children in his life's purpose. The births of his eldest children, Mary, Stella, and James, marked McCartney's initiation into fatherhood with his late wife, Linda McCartney. Their union in 1969 not only brought forth a partnership in music, but also in family life. McCartney embraced Linda's daughter, Heather, as his own, exemplifying his commitment to fatherhood and familial bonds. Tragically, Linda's battle with breast cancer ended in April 1998, leaving McCartney to navigate the challenges of single parenthood while grappling with personal loss. Despite the profound grief, McCartney remained resolute in his commitment to his children, continuing to provide love and support amidst adversity. The subsequent chapter of McCartney's personal life saw him enter into marriage once again, this time with Heather Mills. The union brought another addition to the family with the birth of Beatrice, expanding McCartney's role as a father and ushering in new dynamics within the household. However, the marriage ultimately ended in divorce in 2008 after six years, marking a period of transition and adjustment for McCartney and his children. In 2011, McCartney found love once more and embarked on a new chapter of family life with Nancy Shevel, his third wife. Their union symbolized a reaffirmation of commitment and companionship, providing McCartney with a supportive partner as he continued to navigate the joys and challenges of fatherhood. Paul McCartney's children have carved out impressive careers in their respective fields, each making significant contributions to the worlds of art, photography, music, and design. Mary McCartney, the eldest of Paul's children, has established herself as a prominent photographer with a distinctive style and a keen eye for capturing intimate moments. Her portfolio spans a wide range of subjects, from celebrity portraits to evocative landscapes. Alongside her successful career, Mary is also a devoted mother to four children, Arthur, Elliot, Sam, and Sid, whom she shares with her husband, the acclaimed film director Simon Aboud. James McCartney, following in his father's musical footsteps, has pursued a career as a singer-songwriter. Not content to merely ride on his father's coattails, James has demonstrated his talent and creativity through his own musical endeavors. He has not only assisted Paul McCartney in assembling several of his studio albums, but has also released his own solo works including two EPs and full-length albums. James's music reflects a blend of influences, showcasing his distinctive voice and songwriting prowess. Heather McCartney, Paul's adopted daughter, has made a name for herself as a talented potter and designer. Her artistic endeavors have garnered acclaim, both domestically and internationally. With her work being showcased in art shows across major cities worldwide, including Phoenix, Sydney, New York, Paris, and Tokyo. Heather's creative vision and innovative designs have earned her a devoted following and cemented her status as a rising star in the world of contemporary art and design. 
In addition to her artistic pursuits, Heather has also made occasional appearances in her father's documentaries, offering glimpses into her personal life and relationship with her famous father. Her involvement in projects such as Let It Be and Wingspan underscores the close bond shared between father and daughter, as well as her own contributions to the McCartney family legacy. Stella McCartney stands as a titan in the fashion world, renowned for her innovative designs, commitment to sustainability, and unwavering dedication to animal rights. Her journey to prominence began with her formal education at Central St. Martins, where she honed her skills and developed her unique aesthetic vision. Graduating in 1995, Stella wasted no time in making her mark on the fashion landscape. In 2001, Stella McCartney launched her eponymous fashion label, marking the beginning of a remarkable career that would redefine the industry. With a focus on ethical and eco-friendly practices, Stella's brand quickly gained traction, attracting a devoted following of fashion enthusiasts and environmental advocates alike. Today, Stella McCartney's empire boasts an impressive network of 51 independent stores worldwide, each serving as a testament to her global influence and enduring legacy. From the bustling streets of Soho in Manhattan to the chic neighborhoods of Mayfair and Brompton Cross in London, Stella's boutiques offer a curated selection of her iconic designs, catering to discerning clientele across the globe. In addition to her flagship stores, Stella McCartney has established a presence in some of the world's most prestigious fashion capitals, including West Hollywood in Los Angeles, Palais Royale in Paris, Milan, Tokyo, Shanghai, and Beijing. These strategically located outlets serve as hubs of creativity and commerce, showcasing Stella's collections to an international audience of fashion aficionados. Despite her meteoric rise to fame and success, Stella remains deeply committed to her family, balancing her demanding career with her responsibilities as a mother. In particular, her relationship with her father, Paul McCartney, is marked by a profound sense of love and mutual respect. In the absence of a caretaker for her younger sister Beatrice, Paul takes on the role of primary caregiver, personally chauffeuring her to and from school every day, a testament to his unwavering devotion to his family. Mary McCartney's upbringing on the idyllic Blossom Wood Farm nestled in the picturesque countryside near Rye paints a portrait of a childhood imbued with warmth, creativity, and familial love. The sprawling 160-acre property acquired by Paul and Linda McCartney in 1973 served as a sanctuary from the pressures of fame, providing a nurturing environment for Mary and her siblings to grow and thrive. Raised amidst the rustic beauty of the English countryside, Mary McCartney enjoyed a childhood that was blissfully insulated from the trappings of celebrity. In her formative years, she was largely unaware of the extent of her father's renown. Shielded from the spotlight by the protective cocoon of family life, it wasn't until she reached adolescence that Mary began to grasp the magnitude of her father's celebrity status as her awareness of the outside world expanded. Despite her father's global fame, Mary's upbringing was grounded in the simple pleasures of family time and shared experiences. She fondly recalls spending hours around the dinner table with her loved ones, engaging in lively conversations that ranged far beyond the realm of music. In these intimate moments, the McCartneys reveled in each other's company, delving into topics as diverse as cuisine, art, and literature, fostering a deep sense of connection and camaraderie. Reflecting on her early years, Mary McCartney cherishes a treasure trove of happy memories spent with her family. From leisurely walks through the verdant fields of Blossomwood Farm, to spirited discussions and brainstorming sessions fueled by imagination and creativity, these shared experiences not only forget bonds that would endure a lifetime, but also instilled in Mari a profound appreciation for the simple joys of home and family. Growing up in the secluded haven of Blossomwood Farm, Mary was shielded from the full extent of her parents' celebrity status, 
It wasn't until she reached a certain age that she began to grasp the significance of her family's fame, a revelation that came as a surprise given the carefully cultivated cocoon of privacy in which she had been raised. The realization that her father was a global icon, sought after by throngs of adoring fans for autographs and photos, left Mary incredulous. The sheer magnitude of the public's admiration for Paul McCartney seemed surreal, a stark contrast to the quiet, unassuming life she had known within the confines of her family home. In retrospect, Mary recognized the deliberate efforts her parents had made to shield their children from the pressures of celebrity. Despite their own status as cultural icons, Paul and Linda McCartney prioritized their roles as parents above all else, striving to provide their children with a semblance of normalcy and security in an otherwise extraordinary world. While she may not have fully appreciated the privileges afforded to her at the time, Mary acknowledges the unique opportunities and experiences that came with being the daughter of a music legend like Paul McCartney. One of the most significant advantages of her upbringing was the opportunity to travel and immerse herself in different cultures and communities around the world. Through her father's global tours and engagements, Mary had the chance to visit exotic locales and meet extraordinary individuals, expanding her worldview and enriching her life with diverse experiences. Perhaps most importantly, Mary considers herself fortunate to have witnessed her father's illustrious career in music firsthand. From the electrifying energy of live concerts to the intimate moments shared in the recording studio, Mary was privy to the inner workings of her father's creative process, gaining insights into the passion, dedication, and artistry that defined his musical legacy. In addition to her experiences in the world of music, Mary cherishes fond memories of her family's shared commitment to vegetarianism. In 1975, Paul and Linda McCartney made the conscientious decision to transition to a vegetarian lifestyle as a family, driven by concerns for animal welfare, personal health, and environmental sustainability. This shared ethos instilled in Mary a deep appreciation for the interconnectedness of all living beings and the importance of mindful eating habits. As Mary reminisces about her childhood, she recalls the simple joys of family meals prepared by her mother, Linda, with her favorite being Linda's cream of tomato soup. These cherished culinary traditions not only nourished Mary's body, but also nurtured her soul serving as a reminder of the love, warmth, and values that permeated her upbringing. What do you think about Mary McCartney's revelations about her famous father, Paul McCartney? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.